Hello, and welcome to a brand new episode of Corey and Kevin Talk About Nothing. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Corey. I'm Kevin, and welcome to our podcast talk show. Hello! Hello! Insert the clapping hands, the audience that's cheering, people freaking out. We're in a live studio audience here, everybody. Don't pay attention to our backgrounds. Yeah. It depends on if we edited it. I don't think we did. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's a nice background. I edited that in for the last time. Yeah, right. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, so, um, we we have a movie that we watched uh, that we'll get to a little later. The movie is The King's Man. Um, And I feel like... (laughs) I agree. I feel like the <laughs> entire trilogy needs to have a little talking about. I uh, heard that. In, in lead up of this finale. I, or not even a finale, I guess, because it's just no. a prequel, really, to the... Yeah, the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll tell you what. That's, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Um, I'm not happy. You're not happy about it. I don't think I am either. Hmm. I don't think I am either. No. Um, so yeah, something big did come drop. Okay. Mm. When, when we are recording this, this is uh, this is we'll, we'll, just, we'll say we'll call it the beginning of May. Okay. So the 29th of April, Ozark. Second half of the season. Yeah, what? Season four, part Final. two type of... Dropped, yeah. So, have you started yet? No. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know. I know. All right. We we haven't. We haven't. It's uh, okay. It's okay. I mean, all started. I'm going to say, I'm not going to give anything away. I'm just going to say that I'm I'm truly, I'm, I'm not disappointed at all. And... Another thing that me and Sean, we he made a comment to me, which I wanted to punch him in the throat first, but then I understand why. Okay. He said this. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. No, I wanted to punch him in the throat because he didn't believe me the first time. So violent. I, well, yeah. No, but anyways. You're like MacGruber, uh, and he like snatches people's throats out. Anyways. Uh. Uh. No. Um. You're gonna. He, he just punch said, him in the throat. He just said that. Yeah, because he told me that Ruth Langmore was the star of the show. And it just makes me... So you don't know the background of it. That's what I'm saying. It makes me want to punch in the throat because he told me before that she was annoying and he didn't like her that much at all throughout like any of the show. Oh, uh, now he's flipped his so verdict on now it, it, well, it changed it a little bit. Like he, You know what I mean? It, it changed towards the end of season three. I'm not saying that. That he like didn't like totally like dislike her. But at the same time, it was like a weird such scenario. So when he brought this up to me then, that's when I'm like, all right, now I want to throw a punch you. <laughs> not really. I would not throw a punch him because he said it to me and I didn't. So yeah, obviously I didn't want to do that him bad. Too long to come to that verdict. Thank you, because Got Ruth, because Ruth is like one of my favorite people. Ruth has I'm been, yeah, right, absolutely. I mean, she has been uh, one of the stars of this show. I mean, yes, I think she down. was always. I, I think at first, because of the character that she was, she wasn't like brought out to be this main character, but she truly, truly was the like not the main character. I'm not saying it that way, but like a vital person in this entire scenario of everything. So I'm just saying, wild. Okay. I'm very so, excited, anyways, and I, I, and I yeah. know maybe maybe this week we're gonna we're gonna do it. Yeah. You know, I'm telling you, once you start it, like it's because I haven't finished it yet. I'm not I'm not saying it that way by any means, but it was almost I literally got straight back into the into the Ozark world. Like I, I've been watching Better Call Saul, so I've been kick I've been oh, killing okay. that show. Okay, <clears throat> so then in my in those time frames where I'd watch that show, I, I put I I filled in Ozark. I mean. I'm about, I'm about halfway through the second half of the season. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty good. That's sweet. That's sweet. Good. That's very cool. Yeah. We're um, so, we're, I think we're about halfway through season nine of Modern Family. So nice. Okay. I mean, you guys have put you guys have been hurt, but you guys have been watching for quite a while though. Yeah, we have been watching for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, you know, we throw in a lot of like. We're just throwing on Sling TV. We've been watching a lot of Impractical Jokers. No. Uh, Two and a Half Men when the Charlie Sheen is on. Um, okay. And we'll throw on The Office. We'll also throw on Corey's favorite, Seinfeld. Oh. 
Yep. Um, which actually we watched a few episodes uh, uh, last night, which was awesome. <laughs> it's uh, soothing. It is. It's soothing to listen to Jerry's <laughs> jokes and Elaine's <laughs> laugh and George's outbursts and Kramer's. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. Goofiness. I don't know. Mm, I, I, I kind of failed on that last one. Um, but yeah, so we those are ones that we definitely. I, I, Ozark, we definitely need to. No. I don't want any spoilers, and I feel like that's one that can quickly, like, you might see, like, a scene or somebody tweets something out too far, you know? So, oh, yeah. We need to uh, get on it. To, that, that's, uh, why, that's why I don't want to do it. So, when Sean made one comment already, I'm like, I can't have that happen. I go to work today. And luckily, me and my coworker Ron are on the same page because he literally made a comment to me. He's one of the guys that makes me want to shut my ears off and put eardrums on when I go to work all the time outside, outside the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he just literally just said, uh, said a sentence to me. That's that was in the movie. I mean, in the show and you're like, dude, you're lucky that I seen that. Like, cause that, that might've made me mad. You know, yeah, you know right, 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 right. Like, what right. are you doing? So, but yeah. So, um, I, I'm pretty excited cause this is early May, but anyways, uh, tomorrow, the day after we're recording this, Jessica and I are going to go see Dance, Gavin, Dance. And I'm freaking excited. Dude, that is awesome. Yeah, we also awesome. get uh, a new uh, single dro- uh, new single drops from their, their new album. Their new album comes out in July. It's called okay. Jack- I thought I read. Jackpot Juicer, which uh, okay. seems very fun. And the same artist uh, who, who's done like most of the most of their album artwork did this too and it's, it's just a bunch of fruits and uh like looks like a casino <laughs> type of thing so that's gonna be fun plus it's a it's a huge uh track listing on this album huh. um now mind you these yet. guys are putting albums out every two years almost um ever since uh 2000 actually yeah for for most of the history of dance game of dance the end and lineup changes and all that They've managed to basically crank out a new album almost every two years. And so, wow. yeah, Afterburner came out in 2020. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Mothership was 2016, and um, my mind is escaping me right now. Was There was another one in, in 2018. So it's it's crazy, 2022, getting Jackpot Juicer. And there's like yeah. 19 songs on this album, man. I'm like, this is, this is incredible. That, so not only are you cranking out a two album, but you're like, this is going to be a long one. And, you know, recently, I, you know, rest in peace, Tim Ferrick. They've, they've recently lost uh, their, their bassist, Tim Ferrick. Um, but they also had added a... Uh, member Andrew Wells who plays guitar and does uh, singing as well and they said um, that he has six main in six songs he has main singing parts and I was like oh man you know like that's cool I love the dude's voice and everything but I'm like you know there's there's a clear dynamic between Tillian and John Mess so like I'm like is there gonna be too much then I saw it was like mm. 19 songs. I'm like, okay, that's going to be like a little, little blip in what's going to be this this uh, amazing yeah. arc of music. So I'm excited because not only do we get to go see them live tomorrow, they're also going to be releasing their, their new song, which more than likely we'll get to see these two new songs that we've gotten at that time um, for uh, them to play live. Um, so I'm just super excited because you and I, a um, couple years ago, uh, Jessica was pregnant with Clementine and yep. we went to go see under Roth, and under Roth was touring with dance, Gavin dance. Now, unfortunately, Tillian had a concussion, so yep, it was kind of only accident. John mess, uh, doing most of the screaming and all that stuff. But the audience, the audience, there was never a beat, uh, that these people were not singing the parts for Tillian. Like, Everybody yeah. knew, even without this lead singer, you could have a full blown show, and these people loved it because they know all the music, they know all the songs, and I mean John Mess and the rest of them are all entertaining enough, anyway. So, yeah, we knew that they were special. Um, and I love Under Oath. Under Oath, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> De- I delicately want to say this was my absolute favorite band of all time, but that has to be moved on. I mean, unfortunately, I'm sorry, Under Oath. I mean, you're you're st- you're second, a strong second, a strong but. second. <laughs> yeah. um, but you happen to tour with Dance Gavin Dance. That's your fault. That's not my That's fault. That's true. I would never hurt well, these guys unless it was for them. So yeah. And the backup singer and everybody else blew me away enough to where, you know, like. That, well, exactly. I, yeah, I went home and like, yep, I'm going to be listening to Dance, Gavin, Dance. And I remember probably for a year straight, I listened to Mothership. And then for, you know, another year straight. Here's the funny. Uh, um, I listened to Afterburner for like a year straight. And I didn't even realize that there was an album in between the two. There was? Wait a yeah, because uh, Mothership came like, out in 2016, and um, Afterburner came out in 2020. So I didn't realize that a whole other album had come out in between all of that. So it's just kind of funny how I have like all this other music that I needed t- to uh, listen to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it was uh, Artificial Selection. Artificial Selection came out in 2018. So I was like, oh, man, I got to go back and listen to Artificial Selection. And I'll tell you what. I've been bouncing around through albums and yeah. Acceptance Speech, which is the very first album that uh, um, Tillian is on. And uh, Tim Ferrick had also joined the band at that same time. And that album is insanely good. So I used to listen to Mothership religiously. Afterburner's like second. <sighs> Sorry, acceptance speech number one, baby. That album's amazing, dude. What? Every song's What's a banger. Right? I love every song on Mothership. I love every song Afterburner. I love every song. You know, I I, I love pretty much <laughs> almost every single song. But acceptance speech just has these just friggin' bangers, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so excited. Right. I'm hoping that they play some off of acceptance speech, but I am very excited for uh, the the new stuff too because everything they do is good. I, I really don't have a problem with any of their songs. I love their mood. I love their music. I love the way they just insert everything. They t- they have so many influences, and they themselves are like a free band to explore those influences. They don't narrow themselves down. No I would I would almost say like no album sounds the same. Like they have different styles in almost every album or almost every song in those albums, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. All right. I'm going to say I I mean I do I do love them. I yeah. Mean, they are fantastic, but I mean I I don't I don't know just looking at the names of the songs, I can't tell you if I listen to a single one of these songs and I and I've literally <laughs> I'm, played I'm them on Apple Acceptance and, speech on acceptance speech oh, at all yeah. like none of the songs are like ringing out to me like usually like a song title some sort of something will you know kind of you know ring back to me oh yeah, yeah. nothing yeah nothing. inspire so, the liars which which i i know is like one of one of the ones that i, I think you enjoy the most too but yeah that's absolutely. probably my all-time favorite dance game and dance song inspire the liars yeah, that's yeah. on mothership um, that's on mothership isn't yeah that, I, I listened to a lot of mothership so 100%. that mothership yeah. is definitely like my first album that I just like was yeah. like okay, dance, Kevin, dance is now my thing. <laughs> like that's <laughs> I live and breathe dance, Kevin, dance now. At this point, I, I mean, I kid you not, the only things I I really listen to at this point is is dance, Kevin, dance. I I rarely play anything else, you know. So that's I'm impressive. definitely at like some point gonna get like the mothership tattoo on you know on my body because I'm like I I, I love the. Uh, I love their music so much. I got to get something, uh, something from them, you know. Got it. Yeah, that's impressive. You like that band a lot. I mean, they're they're incredible. I'll talk about them constantly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's awful. So I'm just so excited to go see them live tomorrow and uh, play whatever. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit in the back like we did last time, have a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> just just cause, like, where do, where do you want to go? I'm like, well, last time I figured out, I no longer want to be in a crowd of mosh pitting and all that stuff. Yep. Younger Kevin really enjoyed that. Older Kevin sits in the back, stands in the yep. back, <laughs> like it stands. Even... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nope, we're not even sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we're hey, holding some on seats to a open up. Uh, 
uh, nah, they're fine. Yeah, no, hey, <laughs> we told people behind us, hey, the seats open up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that, that was that was funny. But hey, I mean, it's still live music. It's still like twenty oh, oh, feet oh, away sweet. from your face. We're like, eh, yeah. I, and actually, like that, the, where, where we went to um, at, at that at that venue, it actually was like I liked that where that rail was because don't be wrong, like the mosh pit and everything would be cool because it's like there, he's, it's like you're almost singing like, but you're constantly looking up the entire time. The only thing, the only oh yeah, like where we're like, doing is like we're literally oh a, we're a straight we're literally shot, yeah. watching it. I mean, it's like yeah. watching a movie. Just boom, like I'm enjoying this. I am comfortable. You know what I mean? I am fine with the situation. I had a blast up there. I really oh, that's, did. It wasn't too yeah. It wasn't hot. It wasn't like it oh, was yeah, actually it was like time. it was nice. <laughs> like it was sweet. The Agora, man. That's it's honestly my absolute favorite music venue. Um, they've, they've done nothing but update it over time, but it's never lost. It's, it's, uh, Agora feel. Yeah. yeah. Like it's always yeah, felt like sure. the Agora. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, I have been to many concerts there and it's just like, uh, you walk through the doors, you're like, yeah, this is, this is my <laughs> church right here. You know? <laughs> um, that's awesome. So I, I'm, I'm super excited cause we're going to the Agora again, uh, to go. No, see so yeah, like, so I, yeah, I figured you told me that cause. Th- that's how I knew. Like I knew this was coming up p- oh, yeah. because of the fact that I I was I was upset. I I did want to try to go, if but you know what I mean. I just I didn't want to be that third person. It's yeah, no, that, that, that makes sense. I was, that makes I was sense. just I was gonna get a date to come, or if not, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, right. So that right. was it. So I just was like, ah, you know what I mean. And then well, it got too close, and I just I not even quit trying, like to even start. You know what I mean? But good. I I am jealous as of, of, of uh, AF. I don't but I'm have also it super around me, but my very first concert I ever went to, my brother took me to, and it was Three Days Grace, uh, Smile Lamp, Soul, and Trapped. Uh, we got in a car accident. We missed Three Days Grace. I don't care. Never liked them. Say what you want. Throw bottles at me. I don't yep. care. I never Here really we cared. go. Now, Smile Empty Soul, their first album, amazing. So, so hearing that live, especially I was really into them at the time, was awesome. Yeah. These guys walked past me. I had their uh, like, their CD in my hand. These guys literally walked past me. I was like, "Can I get your autograph?" Got their autograph. I that that happened at the Agora, man. Like, let it happen tomorrow. Let me get Dude, some signatures, w- yes. man. Dude, that would be sweet. Yeah. The, the when I, though I went to a music concert in. I don't. I don't know. I can't remember. We drove like really far to get there, uh, and we when we went up there. Um, I mean, all right, throw bottle bottles at me, puddle of mud. You know what I mean? That's who was headlining it, and it was crazy because out of the corner of my eye, all I see is this golf cart, and then the security guard in the front, secu- like in, the, in this front little thing, the security guard in the side. Mm-hmm. Well, they started going through, and the, the security guard in the front, like moving people all the way. Well, when they they start walking up, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's the I forget the guy's name. But I'm like, that's the least thing you're putting mud right there. There he is, that's <laughs> coming on this golf cart, you know? Yeah. Like, uh oh. So I just turned, like I just slowly turned around, and the wild part is, is like right, right by where we were standing, there was like just traffic. So both golf carts had to stop. So I turned around, I'm like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Yeah, right, right, hey, right. man. I, uh, <clears throat> and he's like, hey, how you doing? He's like, thanks for coming. <laughs> I said, yeah, no problem. <laughs> And I just, I didn't know what to do. So yeah. then he just pulled away. And I said, okay. I was like, it was one of those first moments that I'm like, because I didn't have like, don't get me wrong. It's oh, not, yeah, dude. It's, listen, what man, are you I'm, supposed I'm to, to say, music. right? I, I, exactly. I don't want to come out with, like, oh, I love you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't love you. Like, right. I'm not, you right. know what I mean? That's the thing. This yeah. Is, yeah. I, mean, I just was like, yeah. Uh, you know, hey, one dude, time, it's good to see you. Yeah. yeah. One, one time uh, I had gone with, with a, a mutual friend of ours. Uh, to a a concert at the House of Blues, and it wasn't the main uh, stage House of Blues. It was like this smaller room, um, and and it was a, a band, two bands that are pretty, you know, uh, they they weren't big, they, they weren't well known. Yeah. Obviously, they weren't in the main room, so um, correct. But it was really funny because it was so intimate. Um, that like they ran over to get drinks, and you could like literally walk over and talk to these guys. So I go over there, and, 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 and my friend goes over there, and we're talking. And, like, the best that, that my friend could come up with was, like, uh, so where are you from, and how's the weather? And I was, like, come on, really? Like, that is so awfully boring. And then, like, by the time, like, we could actually, like, talk about something else, they they, they went up and got stage. I was, like, that's it? That's what you wanted to go with? How's the weather? Where are you from? Like, are you kidding me, man? Ah, so. <laughs> so funny. That's awesome. I, I am I am very excited and 
Uh, you know, I should. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like a giddy little schoolgirl at this point. Yeah, say it's going, I'm going to see the Jonas Brothers tomorrow. Yeah, all I'm saying is you better send a photo. I just want a photo of you standing right there. I mean, not of you standing there. I don't care. I just want a photo of those guys <laughs> jamming out on stage, okay? No, uh, with me doing this. Bop well, yeah. Behind me. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so I'm, funny. I'm pumped, man. Oh, that's awesome. I am so yeah, that's pumped. Sweet. Heck yeah. That's what you should, should be a blast, man. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a... Oh, because Jessica didn't get to go last time. Tilly too, and so. protect your head, man. Do not get a concussion this time. Yeah. I need you on that stage this time. If man. I think if he gets a concussion this time, you may not like them anymore. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> you ever seen a city riot? <laughs> I'm going to start a riot. Tillian, you will yeah. get up on that stage or I will burn this city to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. Can I also get an autograph. Like. Or yeah. I will also burn yeah. this place. <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, <clears throat> I am very excited. So yeah. they they are coming off. Uh, they they just had a few shows. Uh, everything's been going great, and uh, they had just done. I think Swan Fest is about two days. Uh, they, so they had done Swan Fest as well, which is really cool. So very excited, very excited. Huh? Yeah. Well, good luck, dude. I hope, Thanks, I hope man. You have fun, man. <clears throat> it's gonna be a good time. I'm just hoping. That they're like, hey, you look like a big fan. And I'm like, I am. I'm a very big fan. Yeah. I just want a photo <clears throat> or an autograph or something, you know? Yeah, or go backstage, you know, it's fine. No, because I, all right, so, dude, all right, I honestly, <laughs> if, if anybody's uh, watched go. Community and Troy meeting LeVar Burton, I fear that. He's like, I only wanted a picture of LeVar Burton. I never wanted to meet him, you know? Because, like, I'm just going to be like, do you guys like to eat? Uh, do you guys drink water? Uh, you know, I'm going to be like, is this, is this guy okay? I'm like, no. yeah. How's the weather at your hometown? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, well, what's cool is John Mess is from Columbus. So I'd be like, uh, do you ever go home? <laughs> yeah. Just bring up Ohio State in in there like somewhere maybe maybe but uh i'm just, saying, I'm just giving you i'm giving you that hint dude. yeah You're right right tomorrow. i i should like, i should oh. write down uh uh topics so that if yep. i like if we, if we get backstage jessica here's some topics that we could talk yeah. about i'll get sweaty and like <laughs> yeah. oh no i don't know what to say <laughs> what's that writing all over your arm no. i was prepared <laughs> i was trying to remember how to talk to you it's so funny. You would actually get removed faster than you would if you it just were like a normal person, be, like ASAP, because they're like they're actually so scared that you like don't know what you're doing. You're like, uh, this guy's really weird. Me, can you get him yeah. out of here? Yeah. <laughs> actually, no. we don't like this guy. No. Yeah. Oh God, I love you. I go. Right, yeah, yeah, I go. Sorry. I go viral yeah. for like being some <laughs> yeah. weird creep. Like, yeah, whatever. I love them. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, I spent a lot of years listening to them. God, yeah. that 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 concert was. Uh, had to been December 2018. So yep. uh, since that time, pff, just been a Dance Gavin Dance life. And it's one of the funniest bands to be like, uh, who is this? Dance Gavin Dance. Huh? Who? Who's, oh, who's Gavin? Too. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, so yeah. funny. I, well, uh, it's funny. People's, people call it a Dance Kevin Dance for a long time. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Dance Kevin Dance. <laughs> And That's I said, funny. and at first I thought they were messing around, right? It's, they're, it's not messing around. It's dance, Gavin dance. That's right. And it's, man. Well, I mean, yeah. I try to call people on the watching some, it. Not, some not, DGD. Not yeah. Um. So I'm very excited, and then uh, maybe we'll get to Ozark, but uh, we're doing that tomorrow. I'm very excited because yeah. uh, it's just like. Uh, um, one of those cool nights out that you don't always get. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah. Especially being a Faja, too, you know? A Faja, yes, yes. Got to take, take some opportunities to uh, get out oh, there and, and go do something. So. Thank you. Um, before we get into this too late, do you want to get on the topic of this show, this movie, this series, this thing? 
Sure, man. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, if you're ready. If you're ready. Because uh, um, if anybody has watched this series, uh, the Kingsman, Kingsman, the Secret Service, right? That's what the first yep. one's called, Kingsman, the uh, Secret Service. It was awesome. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. It, it was It was excellent. Like, they made the, the, the villain all goofy and... They, they, I mean, he's like afraid of blood and stuff. I think that's hilarious, you know. No. Yeah. Um, How can you be a villain that way? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's you weird. do the dirty work. I can't do that. Yeah. Um, but, but also like a really cool way of looking at like a younger generation becoming spies, what they had to go through, their training, that kind of stuff. But also it, it, the action sequences were outstanding. The, the fight scene in the church with Colin Firth, man, was just, one of my favorite action scenes, um, the yeah. way the camera just travels along with everything, and and a lot of their fighting scenes in that in that movie is really good. Yeah, um, I love the yeah. weapons. I mean, it was sweet. oh yeah, no. it was it was yeah. a fun. It was like a, a, a um a less serious James Bond, which I think the the Kingsman is is like based on a comic book or graphic novel. I'm not 100 percent sure it, on that, but it, it is it is definitely a novel based something like that based movie for sure. Yeah, um. So I, and 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 uh, uh, Terrence Egerton, or is that is that a uh, uh, Egerton? I call him Eggsy in the movie, but uh, I think it's Terrence yeah. Egerton. He plays uh, the the main kid in the movie. Plus, you have Michael Caine, um, and and a ton of other Colin Firth, uh, a ton of names I, I I can't fully remember. And a really well star studded cast. And I, I mean, and I love it. It's Samuel a, Jackson. I mean, they're the stat. The literally, it is huge. Yeah. So it's just like the first one. Such a well done action movie that incorporated a younger version of looking at things and and spicing up the intelligence agency. Basically, you know, um, yeah. less stuffy, more fun. And then the second one came out. Kingsman <laughs> and the Golden Circle or some garbage. I'm sorry to be harsh <laughs> on that one, but it, it just was not good. I, I watched it um, one and a half times. And that, that half time, I was just like, nah. You can't do it. I can't do it. Um, Do you remember uh, Kingsman the the and the Golden Circle or something like that? I don't. I see, I, I Honestly, like, I really – I. I, I watched it, but it's been I was just that's what I was looking at. I was looking at you know how, what like when things came out. I mean, the first the uh, the Secret Service came out in 2014. I think the second one came out in 2017. So I mean I I, I probably watched when it first came out it's five years ago. You know I really right my right, right right right. It's like it's like not really coming back. I mean I know I've seen it. I can like tell you about parts. Like I looked it up and looked at it. It all looks familiar, but at the same, I would have to do a rewatch. But that's all. That doesn't make a movie good. I'll tell you that. If I can't remember much about it. You know it's one of those things. So um, I love Channing Tatum, but it, he couldn't save the movie. I love Pedro Pascal. He couldn't save the movie. Um, uh, the, uh, Terrence Egerton, I, 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 I generally like him. He's a, he's a good actor, and uh, he was really good in the first one and just couldn't save it. Um, no. It just wasn't good, and, and I I'm, I'm can't think of her name right now, um, but the the lady who winds up being like the, the bad boss is just – I don't know. It just felt like over the top, and it kind of just fell apart from what made the first one so good. So it just was like, oh, here's a bunch of spy crap. Here's yeah. how we're doing things now, and then here's like this evil baddie, and it's just some big overblown plot. And uh, it's, I don't know. It just yeah, because you know it's different too. Like when you or something like that. Yeah, when you can go back and watch the first one. And still enjoy it just as much as that you, that you did the first time. I mean, obviously, you've seen it all, so it's, but I'm just saying you still get that same enjoyment out of it. When you watch a second one for the first time, you're supposed to get some sort of, and you don't. You know, yeah, it's, it's a bad, it's a bad sequel. They, they, because they just they, they, they lost the whole surprise of everything, and they went about it full blown too much in there. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I just um, it's just more of the same. Yeah, it was well, just sure. like, well, this. Uh, 
But this, are you talking about this, this one we just watched at Kingsbury? Well, no, I'm just getting oh, at the Golden oh. Circle at this point. Uh, got it. So, you know, you had, like like you were just saying, you got this first one that's, like, really memorable, a lot of fun, yep. and it knocked, knocked it out of the park. I'm sure a lot of people I, – I wonder uh, – uh, I'll look at that later, but, like, I wonder what scores are versus the, the two. And then, like, I feel like they just threw a cast and were like, eh, here's a screenplay, and – we slapped it together and here we go. And it's just like, nobody ever like says, Hey, I think this might need a rewrite. Like, uh, yeah. some of this might <laughs> seem a little stupid or repetitive or, uh, I mean, I get it, it's a spy movie. So you, not everything's supposed to be believable or some things are supposed yeah. to be hyperbolic, but the fact that it's just like too hyperbolic is just, Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, if you want to know the Rotten Tomato scores, it starts out at 75. Yeah, that's a good score. Then goes to, Yeah, then goes down to 50. Yep, and then a 41, right? And then a 41, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not and good. And there's a Not reason good. for that, a 41. There's a reason for that. Uh, Yeah. So people were like, hey, that Golden Circle movie was pretty bad. And maybe... With Terrence Egerton, maybe he was doing Rocket Man and doing other things in his career that maybe maybe he would, he wasn't signed on for it. So maybe they were like, let's go in a different direction. I don't know. But this prequel is like how the Kingsman was formed. <clears throat> My God, it was so boring, man. And it was yeah, like boring. you could call everything that's gonna happen. I think the, there was only one thing that was like, oh. And I didn't really care either because it was just like ah whatever. It's like when the when the son is, uh, I'm I'm uh, so and so, and they're like you're a German spy, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, oh wow, okay, you're gonna do that, eh, whatever. <clears throat> what actually I think it's 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 like it, it actually that was a good storyline to me, kind of going on, right? I thought I was gonna see something. <laughs> Well, that's what I thought. Like he's gonna, he's gonna hand that over and be like, "I uh-huh. got my first taste of like this intelligence." Yes. Let let's let's do some, and then the Kingsman is born. No. No, it actually goes the opposite direction, <laughs> and, and then, then it becomes even more boring. Yes, exactly. Yes. Now it's a sorrow, you know. Happy. I mean, it's just R- Ralph. Just... Ralph Fiennes. He's a good actor, but man, that's boring as. Cr- Boring as well, shit. And there's, actually, yeah, there's actually a couple parts of the, of it that were like I wasn't even as happy as I used to like with the first couple like fight things and stuff. I was way happier with the motions and the fighting and the the, the swords. This last <laughs> one, like the, the the end fight, you know, there's always an end fight. There was a couple parts that were just not good that I even I don't know if it's just because I sat through this entire movie like not enjoying myself and maybe the couple of these fights I'm like that was an awful move <laughs> like. Not I, you can't even blame the actors for. It. You got to blame the 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 director and the video people have got to see that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, like right, right, or something right. like you can't. It blame just is very just, anticlimactic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow. Okay, well, that was not that fun. Yeah, <laughs> like, the over so. the top Scottish accent oh, from dude. the get go was like, okay. I you don't even. It was just, it was just like too much because then it made yes. me start thinking. Okay, you're on this remote spot, and you have power over these people. They're doing your bidding, but yet you're 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 a Scotsman. What power do you have? Like, you're not the leader of the United States. You're not the leader of like some giant country. You're just a Scotsman who's angry at well, really England, you know. Uh, so. Yeah. Just kind of like weird. Like, what do these people owe you that they have to fall in line, or else they'll be killed? You know? Yeah, seriously, absolutely. Yeah, it's why. Like, I don't. You, I mean, I don't. I just didn't great. see the threat of this guy. And then the over the top. I so that his name is Matthew Good, the the actor who played. Uh, okay. He also is uh, <clears throat> uh, Osmandius from Watchmen. Um, oh. Yeah, oh, uh, Vape, oh. 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 Yeah. Adrian Veidt, Adrian Veidt, um, yeah, that's weird. I never, guy. I don't know why. Like, I never, yeah, okay, all right. But uh, I think he's a good actor. But 
that was over the top. Yeah. That was just over the top. And it just felt weird because I'm like, I would leave there and be like, I don't really care what happens. That guy's like all the way up there. And if he comes down, like, I don't really care. Like, what is this? it's a Scotsman. Like, what does he have over me? It's just yeah. a weird thing. So, like, I'm like, this guy's a pointless villain. And then, like, yes. you already know what's going to happen. You know the series of events because these movies are overplayed. They're overmade and just. What made the first one great was like it had different spins on things. And, yes. And, and then yes. It, <clears throat> it had a unique villain and it had the the action shots. I think really what separates a lot of action movies from each other are action sequences and action scenes. I mean, what's going to be noteworthy? The story? I'm going to tell you no. Yeah. You know? So this this third movie just was just boring boring i I thought i was gonna say 41 percent was too much 41 percent was too much it was so repetitive and then and then every every actor is just like especially like the the maid who who was like this just so uptight and so like full of herself and like any of these conversations that are being had are just bullshit like oh he talks like this and if they do, you have no friends. If you talk like this, mm-hmm. you have no friends. I'm never going to talk to you if you're that full of yourself. Nobody is. And it's just like, oh, I can do that. And that's another thing I hate about these movies. I'll go on for a while about this shit, dude. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 um, so. But, like, it's just like you have a team of people cracking codes, but this person is just so good at it that they can do it by themselves. Oh, don't worry. I've had I I'm only like four, 30 years old, but I have like hundreds of years of experience to break codes, hack mainframes, do whatever. I'm not talking about like just the hacking mainframes in this movie obviously because it's like World War 1, but yeah. Like it goes to the same thing of like hacking movies where like well, I'd have to do this this this. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> done i'm like uh, no that's bullshit you know like yeah. mm-hmm. same thing for this like it just i don't know it, it just was like some unbelievable crap and it just wasn't even it like was. unbelievable crap in the cool spy way it's just unbelievable crap yeah so it, i think it's really funny i'll allow you to talk i'm, gonna, I'm just kidding i just felt like a talk for a really long time yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. i recorded it. it's only eight minutes long but it's okay <laughs> um <I'm> just, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, well, well, so my opinion on it, it was definitely, it was, it was, like I said, boring, 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 boring. Um, the one part that really got to me, so you brought it up, and I was just really just sitting here thinking about it as you were talking, um, is the part that, okay, so when, I, for, I forget his name now, you just said it, the officer that um, pretended like he was is sick on the boat and then jumped on the yeah, other boat and yeah. went to his... Okay. okay, so how does he have that much time to where he swims from Stupid. there? Stupid. That's how. G- yeah, he, this dude. This dude must have paddled for like nine hours. Lazy writing. That's how. Dude, it was ridiculous. To then get in a submarine, then have time to sink, depressurize, and then shoot the rocket. Oh yeah, dude. I actually did that last weekend. I did it in under two minutes. Bro, what? Yeah. Dude, that's impressive. That's impressive. When he did that transition, I knew what happened on the boat before they showed you what happened on the boat. Well, like, okay. especially because when they when they like go through the window, he's no longer even there. Yes. So, I, uh, yeah. So when I saw that, okay, I'm like, okay, this guy. You know what I mean? And then I thought when they were gonna show him on the submarine when they did it at the very end. That he was actually, it was going to be somebody else. That's that's who I thought. I thought for some reason there's going to be, uh, who was the one guy I was thinking about? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> all right. So the one part that made me laugh in this movie, I got, I just got to say, there's one positive to this movie. This is, I think, where they got the forty-one percent. Is the Russ Russian Putin? dancer? Yeah, Russ Putin. <laughs> so, Russ Putin. He's got it, man. He saved the movie to forty-one. It's so funny. I, I'll be honest. Yeah, that wild. whole the whole dancing fighting scene yeah. was he, probably the oh, best scene. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, hilarious. I laughed. Um, I, him eating that just, that that dessert. Yes. Yeah. Just and like then, then I knew, being. and I knew that he knew what was going on. Mm-hmm. Like. I knew that. So, like, when he did that, he, and he, like, smelled it and acted all weird about it and then did that, I'm like, 
this is pretty wild. You <laughs> know what he, I mean? This is pretty. He pukes and he's like, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. Something's wrong with my stomach. <laughs> I was like, yeah. uh, what the fuck is <laughs> so happening? On it? I mean, like, the movie turned. Like at that dinner t- t- dinner it's in that scene, yeah. it turned like oddly sexual, and I'm like, yes, it did. Where, where, like, where's this movie going? Like this is weird. Yeah, yeah, way like um, too sexual actually. Like, yeah, almost. It got like real weird, even during the dancing things. I mean, he like yeah, yeah. There was, oh yeah, because he's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. I laughed really hard. All right, like, I'll give you that. That's that, dance. that yeah. is funny because like yeah. yeah, his dad's watching him and he has like his yeah. And he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit was pretty funny. All right, I'll give it a forty-one percent because of yeah, because uh, of that. Yeah. It, yeah, um, that guy is in one of the greatest movies ever made. Um, what? His name is I think Reese Reese Ifens. He plays uh, Gregory Rasputin, and I would say Rasputin was definitely the best character. Yeah. Um, in the See, movie, that, that, I think he's... I think he should have been the villain. If anything, I, I he thought he been. was like in the in the previews, uh, and it yes. makes sense. Like there be, but he was like the most evil and oddly. Like, yeah, he was the scariest guy. He's like, literally food. feeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's dripping that stuff into people's mouths. I mean, it's like this, acid this or wild. something, man. Yeah. Like, dude's just well, like yeah, tripping well, balls what, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All the time. I mean. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, dude, I want that scene too. That's what I'm saying. Like every little thing that he did did make me kind of like look back and laugh even harder. Yeah, like yep. that, that stuff was pretty funny. So that, that uh, so good job, Reese Ifens. You were very funny. Uh, yeah. The movie I was talking about that he's also part of is uh, Mr. Nobody, which is just a phenomenal film. Oh, um, but yeah, it's he's all he's not, he's like almost unrecognizable as Rasputin, you know. Um, but. Yeah, the the dancing fight scene um, and just his characters, his character overall was just generally uh, yeah. the the highlight of the film. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah. So I mean, it's but okay. So that's a good thing, but it's also a bad sign for a movie that he is like a subpar character. <laughs> yeah, especially but like as a main, he's not. Yeah, he's he's not uh, in it as long as he. You'd think he was no. He, it, but the funny thing, even the lead up. I mean, when he's walking up, when he's walking in, right? Yeah. When he does, when he like walks up, I thought that this dude, every the way everybody looked at him, the way everybody did this, open the doors, he got in, did whatever he needed to do, yeah. and then all of a sudden he gets in. And he's oh, here's this trinket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so. That's funny. Yeah, Rasputin. All right. Well, good for you, uh, Rasputin, because. Yeah. I, I did mean to bring him up because, like, uh, when they were having dinner, uh, that Conrad, the kid, is just like, I'm, I can't compete with this guy. This guy is fucking weird, man. I yeah, don't know what weird. to say to him. Yeah. <laughs> Take off your trousers. Uh, do I have to though, man? You're no. freaking me out, man. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen in here. Oh, that's so funny. So yeah, oh. uh, if you've not, if you've only watched Kingsman, keep mm. it there. Seriously, just don't go Seriously. any further. It's it's just not worth it. Um, no. If you've watched the Golden Circle, you might as well watch this one. I'm not saying it's better. It's probably equally bad. Yeah, it's it's uh, predictable. But, yeah, you it's don't... predictable. But don't don't expect as much action though. Too uh, yeah, like, that's don't the thing. expect any. That's, it was action, boring. Yeah, it was literally it a was. boring movie. Yeah. yeah. So I, that's what I that, that's the you. that's. Yeah, I at first I'm like, man, I feel bad. Like the first, like you no, know, the first one I watched, I love this one. The second one was like, you know, obviously, it's a, you know, I, mean, I remember it was like I didn't absolutely hate the, hate the movie. This yeah. one, I have to say, I'm op- I'm opposite, man. I think it was one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, three's yeah. down here. I mean, cause just because of the other one, don't be wrong. Like it, it had action scenes in it. So like, if I'm just going by, well, yeah, it actually movie, felt not, like, more like a Kingsman movie than this. Y- one. Yes, yeah. Yeah, correct. So that's why I have to rate that one a little bit better. I mean, this one, like, don't be wrong. Like there was like like parts and stuff. I mean, like you know, what I mean, and the kid and you know, what I mean, the son and all that. But at the same time, you no, know, it makes me mad. You watch the son; he looks like he's gonna be a badass too. And then all of a sudden, that happens. You're like. Bro, well, I know that that was like my only surprising part. It's kind of like when you kill Carl in The Walking Dead, and you're like, I kind of yeah. no longer interested at all. He was the future. <laughs> Are you stupid? I wanted, I wanted the Rick gone, and let me let me get some Carl. Carl. And then what? What was the daughter's name? 
Judith. Judith, there it is. Sorry. Yep. Or uh, ass kicker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, can't say much for it. Maybe it'll be done. I don't know I how much so. money it brought in, but maybe it'll be done. Maybe uh, maybe they'll go on to something else. You know. I hope so. Yeah, me too. Put your efforts, efforts elsewhere at this point. I heard that. Uh, so what are we watching for next week? Our next uh, podcast. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. What I mean, what do you have anything in mind? Hmm. I don't. Let's see, I'm uh, trying to think about. How about anything. let's work on finishing Ozark, and we can talk about Ozark. Perfect. That sounds like a game plan. All right, sweet. So let's let's do that. Um, because I'll def I'll definitely get it done. I'll get it done in the next couple of days. See, I thought I I'm going through my notes. I thought I wrote one down that that I was gonna I was just gonna bring up, but. It's not my notes, so I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I thought I was doing well with that, but I'll find it, and then I'll text you later. <laughs> All right. So, Sounds good. Yeah, I mean, don't be wrong. I'm, I'm totally fine with the Ozarks. I mean, that's, that's cool. We can definitely do that. So I'm definitely 100%. Because I'll rewatch it. You know, it doesn't matter. Right, 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 right. So. All right, cool. But Well, you got right. anything else for us? I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, perfect. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.